Bienvenidos, espectadores. Me llamo... Wait. Hold on. Hello and welcome, viewers. I am back with more of this wonderful game. This beautiful Black Sea Odyssey. Yes. It's so trippy. So strange. I do not usually like angular, sharp art styles, but this, this seems to me. I like this. This is... Oh crap. This is beautiful, and it's not the kind of thing I usually enjoy. Uh, seriously, if, if you follow me, look through my game library. I do not usually play the heavy sci-fi. With a few exceptions, I did get through, uh... No, no, there have been several exceptions, actually. It's like, just off the top of my head, Deponia. Technically, it takes place on another planet, but... It's not really heavy sci-fi, because half the time the world is practically a fantasy world anyway. But, uh, definitely when I played... Actually, there were several hard sci-fi, uh, dating all the way back to the I Have No Mouth and Emma Scream all the way up to Shadowrun for the SNES. But for the most part, I tend to favor the fanciful over the scientific, the magic over the high-tech. This... This is space fantasy. This is high space fantasy, and I like it. A lot. Giant space fish. Oh, I wonder if there's gonna be a lion fish. You know, the one that's already got the spikey poison jet angles jetting out from it all over. I like the lion fish. Dating all the way back to little me watching the naked gun movie. That poor lion fish. Was that the second movie or the first, when the lion fish got abused? I think it was the first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, we'll get away from me. Jerks. Jerkfish. Anyway, I am glad to be back. I am glad to be back. And... I went to the doctor. And this means nothing to anybody who's watching for the first time. But for everybody else, the big thing over my eye is okay. I had something growing on my eyelid. It was awful and some big word, but I don't know where my phone is right now, and I had the word saved in my phone, but it was... It had a name, but it was on my eyelid. But fortunately, they made a little cut above it. I managed to dig it out in pieces and then stitched it up, but now I'm fine. It was swollen for a few days, but I had my, like, three weeks after checkup, and I'm feeling fine. They're just gonna check, have me check back in two months to make sure it's not doing that. Anyway, enough about. Well, it's not really an eye problem, it was an eyelid, which is creepy, but not as bad as it would have been on my eye. But enough of my personal problems. Let us get back to the fanciful world of. Rumball. No. Of. Black Sea Odyssey. I almost call it Peter Sea Odyssey. Anyway, I have been having a marvelous time with this game. Except in the instances when you get a sudden pile-up of enemies. It is not survivable. Well, I survived, but I don't think I could have made it out taking minimal damage. Seriously. Alright, what'd you drop? Give me that. Give me that thing. That is a ship power-up. Or a E power-up. Ooh, yes! Yes! Extra damage, basically. Lightning element. I'm going to assume that later on some creatures will be strong to and weak to various elements. But for now... We are going to continue. Again, those of you who are new to the channel, just to see this awesome new game, if you wonder why I say so many strange things, Look at the title of the game, Battle Play. Anyway, as I was saying, um, I wasn't saying, I was battling. But yeah, you know, 
And also, every once in a while I get a comment along the lines of shut up and play the game. I'm like, number one, Babel plays in the title. Number two, for most games, okay, this one's brand new, so maybe, maybe not, but most games, if you look around, you can find somebody doing a playthrough with no narration. Okay, I'm talking too much. In other words, don't whine at Let's Players because they're talking. And also, I do not... I, I call my battle plays, but I do not talk as fast or as excitedly or as much as some of the big guys. Seriously, I'm not like PewDiePie. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with PewDiePie, I'm just saying his style is different from mine. I'm not like going, I'm a big space monster and I'm going to eat you. Oh no, I'm Mr. Space Monster, I'm just a little guy in a space robot. I'm going to eat you. That's, that's not exactly what he does, but it's an annoying parody thereof. Uh, and no, I wasn't going to attempt the accent, because that feels wrong. And those of you who follow my playthroughs know that I am not above doing the occasional cheesy accent every now and then. But, what is what is somehow different. No, it's somehow different when I'm just doing a generic, you know, cartoon, the generic cartoon Frenchman voice. But if I'm actually imitating someone, like, or even doing it in the style of, say, PewDiePie, and I mimic his accent, that feels more like mockery. The other is just being a silly character. But this, that right there, maybe I'm being too touchy. I don't Just know in future that I will continue to do accents whenever the hell I feel like it. But if I'm imitating someone, or even quoting someone specific, I am probably not going to attempt the accent because it's not exactly that it feels like I'm mocking them, but that's as close as I can put it into words. Like if I quote grade A under A, I am not going to attempt to imitate the voice or accent. Now, if I start making fun of Trump at some point, I would probably try to mimic his speech patterns. But seriously, I tend to avoid political. Damn it. I avoid living. I tend to avoid political stuff. I don't do real world horrors. Okay, I'm not necessarily calling him a horror, no matter what my opinion of him might be. Uh, what I mean is, I don't bring real life downers into the silliness, usually. Sometimes, if it's on my mind, like right now, I will babble it. But for the most part, I keep it light and goofy and mostly about the puns and pop culture references. And I just want to pause to say, if the developer ever watched this, damn it, I love drilling through asteroids. That is absolutely awesome. I... I, I'm not going to do it, but part of me wants to just drill an asteroid away to nothing, with nothing but my boosters. That would take forever. And I, is that my phone? One second, I'm going to see if that's my phone. Yeah, that was my phone. See? There, accent. But anyway... Oh my god, there's so many of you here. Completely indestructible from one entire angle. You've got, like... Frost creep behind you, and I don't like that. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. There goes your arm. Are the others gonna leave me alone while I do this? No, no, they are not. At least they don't all seem to dash as bad as often as the little one. And they all dash, but the little ones seem to do it way too much, and that's a deal. That's a heal. Right. Oh, I'm hit by that. Oh, I'm hit. I'm poisoned. It's gonna keep hitting me. Okay, shake it off. Do a lap, run it off. Yeah, I, I do not know why so many coaches think the idea that running something off works is. You annoying little thing. Even the little ones take forever to do. 
Yeah. However, it's rare to find a roguelike where you can actually sit and just fire at something, even for a few seconds. Mine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, do not abandon a treasure chest. Do not abandon a treasure chest. Never a good idea, but in this case, you're going to lose money scattered all over the place. Alright. Seriously, I do not like this frost creep. I don't know if that's what it's called, but to me, creep is any poison damage trail left behind by... That was you again. Alright, this time, Great Gazoo, I'm gonna get poisoned because I'm an idiot. But, uh... <clears throat> There we go. Oh, you've got a squishy interior. Just like all shellfish. Alright. I can dig it. I can dig it. Alright. So, oops. lack any kind of defenses when there's poison is recharging. Ah, I see. He can close it back up. I kind of figured he would, actually. Logic dictates. Hello. Is this his face, or am I shooting him in the butt? I... Yeah, those are his eyes up there, so I am definitely shooting him in the butt. He's kind of like an armored urchin... urchin starfish jellyfish combo. Alright, so I can rip these things out individually. Sounds good to me. Oop. Sounds good to me! Woohoo! Open up! Open says me! I was kind of hoping they'd regenerate so I could pull them off again, but I guess that's not how this game works. I can target specific ones. Yeah, easy to relax. Whoop, whoop, no more. Sorry, that was a terrible fake yawn, but I was enjoying the lull of being able to oh, him for a moment. Son of a biscuit. No, oh, oh, waffles. Oh, my gerd. Oh, my gerd. Stupid, stupid, stupid damage. There we go. Right. Oh no, don't you close that. Open up. This is the police. I was about to say we have you surrounded, but no. He's, he, he, with his firing in every direction, is closer to having me surrounded than vice versa. Right. Open. Open sleeves bucket. How is he still firing those? He doesn't have. He's only got one turret. Seriously. Well, I guess there's still the gaping hole where the turrets were and the poison would come out of. Never mind. Never mind. Get those rocks out of my way. That's not fair. I don't want space rocks in my way. I have just removed it. If that's his backside, was I ripping off. I, I'm putting too much thought into this. Never mind. All right. Let us continue. Let us continue. Actually, when he's closed, that yellow dot looks like an eye. And so he looks like a giant, pointy, triangular... Uh, crap. Big evil thing in Chrono Trigger. Help me out here. Come on, brain. Not Gygus! My brain is useless right now. Lavos! Thank you! Damn, that was pathetic. Lav- Ooh! Wow, that's gross. But I have exposed the heart! The heart of evil! <laughs> is it defenseless now? Because I could go for defenseless. Nope, 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 not defenseless. Oh, a lot of nope. 
whole lot of nope. Alright. We are dealing with the problem. There's a stupid asteroid in the way. Very, very bad asteroid. Oh, I can open and shoot him from the front, too, when he's open, but there's no way to make him open up over there on that end. Ah, harpoon. There's a lot of damage. It is way slow, and get that asteroid out of my way. What the hell? Asteroids have not been an issue until this boss. I mean, I'm not saying they're unfair, it's just... Uh, okay. I'm not complaining about it. I'm not saying take the asteroids out, they're bad. I'm just saying they have not been an issue until this point. They've never really gotten in my way. The worst I've had to do is dodge around one in a high-speed dodge. Stop it with the poison. I'm trying to hit your weak point. Seriously. Whoa. I ripped it apart. Alright. Oh my, that's some nice things. Alright. I actually want to make food, so I'm just going to process this and then play more. <laughs>